Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris, man. And as always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. I have a treat for you guys today. I have a Fender Squire Vintage Modified 77 Jazz Bass. And it's hard to find the Jazz Basses with the pearl inlays. Instead, what you get is this block thing. I personally don't care for the block thing. I remember growing up in the 70s and watching uh, like the Hazel, I forgot her last name from Taste of Honey on that first album cover. I said, man, I love that bass. I love those inlays. And then they started going with the, just the block, black thing going. And these are very hard to find. <clears throat> and this guitar is like no. I'm not going to say mint condition because mint condition can mean this. This guitar is five years old and it still looks no. No, this guitar is new. You know, it's no longer, I can't no longer technically say it's brand new, but it's like new. And, and actually it is brand new, but it's now used, you know. So, you know, now it's like new. You know, it still got some of the plastic on the back there from the, that was there on the thing. And I'll leave a link down here so you can hear me play this and i'm gonna say this throughout the video because sometimes i get this in the video I, I mentioned at least three times you know if you want to hear me play it click on that link down there and you hear me playing along with a cover and you got people that won't watch the entire video and you can tell that they have me because they're asked you the question has already been answered in the video not once not twice but three times you know i've had people uh it'd be nice if you played it It'd be nice if you watched the entire video and click on that link, you know, because I told you guys my tolerance level for I'm not paying attention is very small. The older you get, the less you want to hear nonsense. And I'm not about to turn this into anything negative, but I'm talking about grown men that won't pay attention. It's like, dude, it's right down there. And I said it twice. So apparently you're not paying attention, you know, and that's really still geared for young folks because it's like they're still developing when you're 30, 40, 50 years old and you still have them like that. But forgive me for that because I had to mention that for those that I want to head that off as far as leaving me a question like that. When the answer, question you've asked, it's already been answered in the video. Just watch the video. And once you watch the video and you got a question that's not there, by all means, leave me a comment. Say, Morris, man, what about this? What about that? I'd be more than happy to respond. You know, But uh, the reason why... I'm partying with this because, I mean, I, I love this. I had a, another one that inlaid, and I hated that I sold it. I said, man, next one I'm not going to sell. But you can't say never. Never can say never because uh, the only reason why I'm going to part with this is because I got a rick coming. You know, I got several j jazz basses around here, but I don't have a rick. So, you know, I got to keep my bass count or my guitar count or guitar and bass count down because I'm, I'm going to be moving soon. You know, so I don't want to be wagging all this stuff out of here. Now, once I get settled, I'll start holding on to a little more things. But in the meanwhile, I have to part with it. But the first thing I noticed about when I played this guitar and the other one I had like that, the neck. You know, the the more, of course, you pay, the better it's going to be. You know, because uh, this is not a super discounted guitar. You know, uh, if you go on Reverb or, e or eBay or Guitar Center right now, if you can find one of these, it's going to cost you $500. That's simple. It's going to cost you $500. And then you're not going to find one in the condition that this one is. Because this is basically a new guitar. It's professionally set up. Ain't nobody dogged it and, you know, working on it and, and, and making these adjustments on the, on the neck or whatever. This has been professionally set up. This is a brand new guitar. There's not a scratch on this guitar. It, it still has that glossy shine because it's new. And I'll take it up to the camera in a minute. But uh, the Aston price, because this one kind of set me back. Because sometimes, I, because I got to say this for people like, why you buy these guitars, Morris, man, and then you turn around and sell them. And like I've said in another video, we all have our difference, how we do things. I love to rotate my stock, my, my, my collection. You know, I'm not going to have one guitar for 20, 30 years, you know. Now, I might have one that I'm going to take to the grave with me, or should I say when I die, I still have it. But that's what keeps it exciting for me. Just, you know, 
every year, you know, I put trade out some and then I get new ones, you know, not necessarily new as, as far as new, new, but just new to me, you know, and that excites me. That keeps me going as far as I got the same guitars for 10 years and I'm playing them and they don't feel the same no more. Or some of them do, you know, so uh, that's the reason why I do what I do. This is not this is not about more than just selling guitars for money. <laughs> no, it ain't because um, I'm going to post another video tonight. And I'm selling one for $75. There's nothing wrong with the guitar. It's just that I get more in and I can't keep them all. Because I had posted one guitar and I'm glad some people ain't say, man, you know, I should have jumped on that. You know, because, uh, you know, Morris men don't sell junk. Because I was, you know, sometimes trying to part with guitars for a real, you know, inexpensive price. Like the one, the Sammy I'm about to put up in, in a couple of minutes. And, uh. I posted one for seventy five dollars. I did the research on that guitar. That guitar was a brand new. It was like three hundred bucks, and it got one of the best necks I've ever played in my collection. And I still got it because I'm like, I'm glad nobody decided to take it. You know, because one guy was like, No, thank you. I'll pass on the seventy five dollar guitar. I'm like, You can pass all day if you want to, you know. But if you only had seventy five dollars and take that somewhere else, you're not gonna get nothing close to what I was selling you, you know. But you got some people, uh, they can't figure it out. It's like. I've been here for almost 10 years, and you guys know my history. I don't play junk. I don't play anything that's hard to play. I don't play anything that's going to be a problem down the line or a problem now because the guitars that come with, that are problems, I send them back. I don't say, well, I'm going st to get stuck with this, and I'm going to keep it. So, therefore, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and, uh, you know, and just discount it and try to get rid of it. No. Morris men don't roll like that. But, but anyway, this is a uh, – the price for this one is $350. Plus $65 shipping and handling because it's going to come to you in a big box and it's kind of heavy. You know, uh, you are not going to find this guitar for that, this price anywhere. Like I told you, the going price, and if you don't believe me, go go check on Reverb. Go check on Guitar Center. If Again, you can find them. Check on eBay. If you do find these, they're going to be about 600 bucks. You know, I've been playing guitar for 30 years. I've played over 1,000 guitars. I've had hundreds of them. So trust me, I know the value of them. I'm not just throwing out a figure like some of the people on Reverb. I want three times the amount that it's worth. You know, everybody else selling it for. I want three times the amount because they don't have no idea what they got. And unfortunately on Reverb, some of these people are not even guitar players. Because I asked one guy, which I normally ask everybody, I'm like, how's the action? One guy told me he didn't even know what that meant. Have a good day. You know, didn't even know what that meant. I'm like, okay, thanks for informing me that you're not informed. You know, but... uh. That's not the case with me. You know, uh, like I said, I've been playing for forever, and uh, I don't play junk, you know, and I don't receive and keep junk. I send junk back. But uh, that's a hell of a price, $350 plus $65 shipping in hand. And unfortunately, I can't do the California thing because it would be like $130, and then it take forever to get there, so I can't do that. But uh, again, the second time, if you want to hear me play this guitar, I did a cover of uh, Jerry Butler's Mr. Dream Merchant. And actually, uh, why am I drawing a blank here? It was another group. I forgot the name of them, baby. I remember before I shut the video off. Uh, they did a hell of a job on that cover because they did a cover of that. Man, what's the name of that group? Uh, I can't remember. But anyway, because I actually did a co their cover also. But uh, it sounds great. This guitar carries a lot of bottom. You know, it cuts through the mix. It's not one of those guitars that you have to turn it up in the mix after or once you, you know, you're trying to do this cover, you got to turn it up because at a normal setting, you can't hear it. You know, you can feel that bottom, you know, but I'll stick it up to the camera. So there it is. If you're interested in purchasing this, like I said, this is like no. $350 plus $65 shipping and handling. Uh, you know, you can leave me a comment and say, man, what's man, I want to grab that. Then I respond, say, okay, grab it. And once you grab it, 
then I'll take the video down or I'll put sold across the header and it'll go out the very next business day, United States Postal with tracking priority shipping. So it should reach you within four days. Usually it's like three to four days and uh, you have to sign for it. So uh, again, the third time, if you want to hear me play this, there's a link right down there where it says show more and you click on that link. If you can't see it without clicking on it, it'll drop down. It'll give you a link. You click on that link. It'll take you right to the Jerry Butler's uh, Mr. Dream Merchant. Still trying to remember the other group that did that song. <sighs> Man, your memory goes as you get old. It really does. So on that note, I'm going to sign off. Like I told you, I hate the part with this because I hated the part with the with the second one. But the reason why I parted with the second one because about this one. You know, but in hindsight, there are a few guitars that I hate that I did sell, you know, because I'm like, it's hard to find these inlays. And I'm just not a big fan of the blackout thing. You know, it's this looks better to me. And these guitars, the the, the modified and I guess the uh, I don't know what, know what they call this, because this is not just the standard square jazz space. I forget. It's, it's modified to or something, but they got great necks. I mean, they got Really nice necks. I enjoy playing these because of the necks. You know, it's lacquer. It's beautiful. And again, like I told you, it's a professional setup. It's it's not it's a good good action. Really decent. Really decent action on this. You know, and uh, brand new strings. You know, I don't know what gauge these are, but if they're not they're not uh, the lightest gauge like I put on this one. And I put it on that one mainly to do slap popping and stuff. And you can do that on this too. But, you know, I tend to like thinner strings so for bass because my hands used to get blistered up big time. And after a while, you know, this guy told me when I was growing up that was a professional player at the time. He said, just keep playing, man. You know, uh, that pain goes away. And he's right. It's like I don't think about that no more because it doesn't hurt, you know. But uh, I'm going to sign off now. Like I told you, I got, I got a Rick that's coming and I'm keeping the Rick. You know, there's no doubt about that. So uh, if you guys are interested... You know, leave me a, a comment down there and I'll quickly respond to it. And if you're interested, you know, three fifty plus sixty five dollars. Like I told you, you're not going to find this for under five hundred bucks. You're not. I'm telling you now, but please go look. Go look. If you think you can find one for two hundred. Hey, you know, the only way that's going to happen is you get into a time machine and go back 10 years, you know, something like that. But uh, or even go back. 2020 before the pandemic kicked in because as a result of the pandemic which gives these companies an excuse and I do stress excuse to jack up their prices because before the pandemic you might get lucky and find one of these for about 350 300 maybe but now nope we talk five six hundred bucks you know and to find one in this condition like no that might even be more so uh, my PayPal down here is morrisman64 at hotmail.com. Normally what I do is, and then I'm going to sign off, instead of trying to retype it back in to get to PayPal, just cut and paste it, put it in there. That way you eliminate the possibility of putting in one too many characters, not enough characters, and you sending your money somewhere else. Because I had a gentleman, he sent it to Morris Man Smith. And we went back and forth. It was friendly banner. He's like, I paid you. I'm like, I haven't received anything, sir. I said, who did you send it to? Morris Man Smith. Morris Man 64 at Hotmail. It's right down there. There's no Smith in the email. Morris Man Smith. Morris Man 64 at Hotmail.com. So until next time, take care and thanks for watching.